I saw something the other day that really piqued my interest. It was the Transformers 40th. I didn't realize that they had been around for 40 years, and they first created the animated series in 1984. What a lot of people don't know is that it was created with the help of a Japanese studio, Toei. Toei is also behind One Piece. So it was really set up from the beginning to be an amazing show and I personally love the Transformers and the first Transformers movie in my opinion is amazing it definitely encapsulates everything that the 80s kind of had to offer uh looking into the 40th anniversary video I discovered that it was Studio Trigger, and that really piqued my interest even more because not only is it the 40th anniversary video of Transformers, but Studio Trigger does some amazing work. I saw the name Akira Amamiya, and I was really perplexed because that name seems super familiar to me, but I just couldn't place where I had seen them their work from or where I had seen that name in other works. And so through this little excerpt right here on Crunchyroll, I saw that they had worked on S. Gridman uh, and, of course, Kill a Kill. I'm not sure how much work they actually done in Delicious in Dungeon. I know Studio Trigger is behind that. And then Studio Trigger is also behind uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Then I saw the name Hirami Wakabashi. And I knew instantly that there was some magic behind this. He's the same person that was from Gynex who created Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. Um, but if you want to see the Transformers 40th special movie, as they're calling it, it's like a AMV almost, I would go to the the crunchy roll and then go to x or go straight to x and find it there so that way they know that you want you watched it uh there is a source that i saw on youtube but i don't believe that they have any direct relation to either bump chi bump of chicken trigger or transformers so they won't really be aware that you watched the special movie as they're calling it but when i saw the name akira I was super intrigued, so I did a little bit more research into everything they had done, and their work is really extensive. Uh, I would definitely suggest if you're interested in seeing everything that they've been a part of, just look them up. Um, I would go to my anime list, a great resource. It shows everything that they've been a part of from their time of being a part of animation in general. But I was super intrigued because they had also worked on panty and stocking with garter belt and i knew for a fact at that point that had to be the episode of trans homers if you don't know about the episode of trans homers it's a homage to transformers it's a great episode um but yeah he did the storyboard of it episode direction and he was a key animation supervisor with wakabashi leading the script on it the episode is fantastic they do a great job of paying homage to it um right here is <laughs> the names for them uh masculinous surprise and thematron uh here's their oh panty and stocking their panty and stocking's original design and then here's the design of what optimus prime and then uh megatron uh, their versions of it one thing that I also thought was pretty hilarious is Optimus is wearing a Mega Man helmet and so uh, Panny becomes the Optimus version and Stocking becomes the Megatron version which if you've seen the show that is kind of leading into other things that go along with it it's quite intriguing and it's funny but here's the full rendered out version of it it's so I just thought that was super amazing that not only did Studio Trigger have a lot to do with the direction and animation, as you can see right here, he is listed first key animator included into it. And I haven't gone through the whole entire list to see which each one of them did, but that right there shows me the true intent of Studio Trigger behind this anniversary um uh, tribute video 
and it is amazing. Definitely, if you're a Transformers fan or Trigger Studio Trigger fan, I would go out and watch it. Anyways, that's all I really wanted to talk about. And uh, don't forget to do all the, the common stuff, like, share, subscribe. I usually like to do video essays, but I kind of do random stuff all the time on my channel. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.